Creative Mining here, and today we're going to be talking about a uh, token that's been, I don't know, gaining some traction is the right word, but it's definitely been getting popular. And the, the name of the token is Ether Vista. And I read something interesting about Ether Vista on Crypto Rank that really made me reconsider about whether or not I wanted to invest in this project. And I think this was the article right here. Ether Vista exchange transactions grind to a halt after record start. So what is today? I think today is, let me check. Today's the 17th. So this article was written almost a week ago. And it says Ether Vista and its Vista token were off to a flying start. The new DEX became one of the top gas burners on ethereum however just two weeks after its launch activity on the platform has grounded at a much lower baseline the new ether vista dex launched with activity levels that rivaled uniswap's gas fees i don't see how that's possible considering it's been launched so recently but let's continue yet this new project actually if they're just talking about the gas fees, maybe it is comparable. Yet this new project was viewed with skepticism as most of its activity consisted of trading native Vista tokens against wrapped ETH. The exchange managed to generate up to $240,000 for its developers from fees and initial trades while it was on its high. However, just two weeks after its launch, Ether Vista activity has dwindled to zero levels Ether Vista stalled in creating new token pairs. The main point of Ether Vista was to create a novel Ethereum based market for meme token pairs. In total, the project drew in 846 pairs and pulled 45.13 ETH in total liquidity. In comparison, in the initial days after Pump.Fun launched, for those of you who don't know, Pump.Fun is a platform where it facilitates the creation of smart contracts specifically for meme coins that's why you literally see thousands of meme coins being deployed on that platform because they make it as easy as possible to deploy a smart contract for that sort of token more than 16,000 tokens were deployed, while SunFund had more than 25,000 new assets and initial liquidity pairs. Ether Vista launched during a moment of interest, withdrawal from the meme ecosystem. The leading pump.fund platform also suffered outflows. Soon after launch, Ether Vista onboarded several major bots. Uh oh. However, within two weeks, both direct user volumes and bot driven trading slowed down. At the end of the period, Ether Vista activity also saw increasing net outflows of all pairs created. 737 saw some form of trading, while the Vista token was the first and major source of activity. Now, speaking of the bots, this may explain why. Let's go to CoinGecko. So, for Ether Vista, huh, what do we have here? According to GoPlus, this is an unverified contract. The contract owner can make code changes to the token contract, including but not limited to disabling cells, changing fees, minting, transferring tokens, etc. Exercise caution. So that's another reason why I'm not too interested in this token. It seems like the smart contract is not completely immutable. There's obviously um, a lot of discretion that the original creator still has over the smart contract. And you don't really want that as a consumer because you don't know what could happen after you decide to get into the coin. So that's unnecessary risk exposure right there. But what I really wanted to point out was the trading volume. You see how it has almost $6 million in trading volume, but the market cap is only $11 million. I don't really understand that ratio. How is the trading volume so high 
Honestly, it's not super high, but it's a lot higher than other tokens that I see on the market that has a comparable trading volume level, but they're at a much higher market cap. They're actually at a, a mid cap level. So for example, let's type in Chia. Chia, as you can see, has a $141 million market cap, but its trading volume is almost $9 million. So if we go back to Vista, considering how low its market cap is, not saying there's a direct correlation between the two, but I imagine there's some kind of connection. It just seems inorganic to me, the trading volume and the bot activity could be explaining why this trading volume is so high. But let's continue. After an initial boom of new token creations, Ether Vista transactions slowed down as interest in new tokens diminished. The native Vista tokens still have $2.4 million in locked liquidity against Wrapped ETH. The token has gained more community trust and vetting as a DEX asset. The exchange still managed to produce fees, which were sent out to three developer addresses. The Vista token still reports an address with two and a half million dollars in liquidity based on Arkham data. The exchange continues to sell inflows from MEV bot addresses. Not good. Bots may have exploited Ether Vista's vulnerability. Not good. Ether Vista showed anomalous MEV bot volume around September 5th. The activity may have been due to bots exploiting the market for outsized ETH gains. According to PhD student and security researcher Chow Fan So, a manual trader discovered a vulnerability in the router contract. The trader then went on to exploit an integer overflow vulnerability, which swept the fees in the router. Do you know at Ether Vista swap fee can be bypassed and liquidity private ooh, excuse me, liquidity providers won't receive any rewards. There's another bug in the Ether Vista router. It uses the fee parameters from the first pool and only pays to the first pool. If you own the first pool, set the fee to, and then there's a link to a picture on Twitter. Since Ether Vista also hosted bots, one of the bots repeated the exploit multiple times, making the vulnerabilities effect much more pronounced. According to Xiao Xu, how, excuse me, however you pronounce it, the pools on Ether Vista were not in danger, only the router where the fees could be exploited. Xiao estimated the initial attacker managed to drain 10 ETH. Bots repeating the same steps in the next block took another 20 ETH. Xiao withdrew 8 ETH while testing and retained the funds in a wallet. The exploiter and the bots later used the funds in the router contract to set high fees. The other Ether Vista vulnerability was that some pool owners could set the fee to zero and trade Ether Vista for free. The exploit also raised questions on why Ether Vista had accessible funds in its router contract instead of keeping all the funds in the liquidity pools. This exploit is possible only for the owner of the first pool on the DEX. Ether Vista was created as a Uniswap clone, similar to other DEXs. However, the unexpected exploits may have accelerated the project's crash, even with bots and withdrawals. Ether Vista was successful in its early days, although it was not sustainable for token trading. Both bot and organic activities have slowed down since the September 5th peak. The launch of Ether Vista also came with another red flag, a partnership with the GotBit hedge fund. The GotBit project was supposed to serve as a market maker for Ether Vista. Previously, Web3 researcher and on-chain analyst, analyst Zach XBT warned about the risk of tokens that were tied to GotBit services. In the past, GotBit has offered to build inorganic trading volumes similar to what was seen soon after the launch of Ether Vista. The DEX ended up requiring up to 150 ETH for gas fees in just the first few days of trading, even when Vista was the only asset available. So this article definitely explains a lot of doubts I had with 
Ether Vista. So take with this information as you will. Just giving you a heads up in case you didn't know about this. Besides that, I will not be adding Ether Vista to my portfolio. If anything in this article is inaccurate, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Besides that, I'll be ending this video. Creative Mining.